When I make the body for a bespoke pin, I generally like to turn a 13 millimeter shoulder and go ahead and thread it first. Then I'll come back and drill a hole down the center of the blank and I'll tap it. Now more than once while I'm tapping that hole, you can see how thin this wall is, I've had it crack on me because it's just not a lot of, of material there to support uh, the blank while you tap it. What I'm gonna do today is I've chucked up a scrap piece of resin. I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole down the center of it and tap it to fit the outside of this blank. We'll then take and part it off to this depth we're gonna leave it square so it's easy for me to handle to be able to thread on and off of my blank. And when I get ready to tap this inside hole, I can thread this little piece onto the outside of my blank and it's gonna give me a whole lot of support while I'm tapping the threads inside of my blank. Generally, when I drill down the center of the body of a pin, I go in about an inch and a half, which takes me to this red mark. I'm not gonna to need to do that because this blank is probably only an inch in, in in length, so we're just going to go ahead and drill all the way through the blank. I'm going to put a little bit of mineral oil on my tap and then we'll go ahead and thread this blank. There we go. Let's back this off. The body of my pen will now thread very nicely into this blank. So what I'm gonna do is get this marked and part it off, and then this will be a nice little support for whenever we're tapping the inside of this body. And now what we have is a really nice support that we can just thread right onto our blank and proceed to drill and tap the inside of our body. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Here's another quick shot of the little piece that I made. And I really like it because it very, very easily threads onto the end of my pen and I can tap right down the center without any interference. Uh, you might be saying, why did you leave it square? Why didn't you true it up? And I could have trued it up, but honestly, I thought it'd be kind of nice to be able to get a good grip on it and I wanted it to be kind of blockier and have a little bit more meat around it to give me as much support as possible. So I'm really happy with it and I think it's going to be great. I can't wait to start using it and hopefully I'll save a few pin body tenons. I'd really like to thank you for joining me in the shop tonight. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening everybody.